if you take an alkene or an alkene and you take off a hydrogen and you add on one of the group 7 elements, which is a halogen, fluorochlorobromo or iodo, what you're going to end up with is a halogenated hydrocarbon. We call them, uh, well, right here, haloalkanes or haloalkanes. Although, um, sometimes you can have uh, enes as well in, in these and eins, they're still called haloalkanes. Anyway, what's the name of them and how do you do it? Well, you treat the, the, the halogen as if it was a branch and you name it alphabetically just like you name all the other ones alphabetically before. No problem, it works out great. So, what would this one be called here because it's three carbons long? You would have, this would be a probe. Single bonds, ain. What do you have as branches here? A bromo here and here at the first and the second carbon going this way. So you would have a bromo on the one and a bromo on the two, so you would say one, two, whoops, <laughs> one, two, dibromopropane. It tells you where the two bromos are, dibromos, they're at the one and the two. Okay, so what would this one be? Oh boy, this one is a one, two, three, four carbon long, so it's a butane, but it's got these as branches right here. So you've got three fluoros and one iodo. Sounds Japanese almost. So what are you going to do for the naming here? Well, first of all, fluoro comes before iodo alphabetically, so it would go first. If you're clever, you're saying, oh, wait, chem guy, but it's trifluoro. So that's a T. So the I would come first before the T. Nope. The monos and the dies and the tries, those numbers that describe how many of those branches that you have, let's call that a branch or substituent, they do not get included in the alphabetization. I know, it sounds kind of weird, but, uh, but cyclos do, by the way. They do get included into that uh, alphabetization. But the numbers in front that describe how many of those kinds of things you have, like mono, di, tri, tetra, or whatever, do not get included in the alphabetization. So stay with me on this one. Fluoro comes before iodo. So what do we have here? We've got... Well, we've got tri, tri fluoro, and then an iodo. Where are the fluoros? They are at the, well now wait a minute, the branches are at the, well at the second carbon and at the third carbon in either direction. So then we could say that the fluoros and the, uh, and, but we want to give the fluoros because they're in front the least numbers possible. So it's 2 comma 2 comma 3 hyphen. 2, 2, 3, trifluoro. And then the iodo is on the 3, iodobutane. 2, 2, 3, trifluoro, 3, iodobutane. Fluoro comes before iodo. The tri does not, that T does not get included in the alphabetization. That's the name for that organic molecule. <laughs> What's this one right here? Longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hex. I see single bonds. I say hexane. I see a chloro here and here, and I see a methyl here and here. What comes first, chloros or methyls? Alphabetically, C before M. So, chloro. How many chloros? We got two chloros. It's a dichloro. Where are the chloros? Well, the branches are at the one, uh, sorry, this is the one. So this is the two, three, four, and five. And it doesn't matter which way you go, they're still going to be at the 2, 3, 4, 5. So, since the chloros are listed first, let's go 2, 3 hyphen dichloro, and then 4, 5 hyphen dimethyl. You like that? Okay. 2, 3 dichloro, 4, 5 dimethyl hexane. That's what that one would be right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All makes sense. Now, look at this one. There's a double bond in here, so it's an ene. That still takes precedence over the location of anything that's going to be a substituent, like a branch. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be a hex. A hex what? There's an ene. Where's the ene? At the second carbon between the second and the third. So it's a hex two ene. That places the iodo at the one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be a five iodo, because all of the halogen branches end in O. 5-iodo, hex 2, 